the official name of the conference shall be the National Conference. B. The National Conference shall hold in the Federal Capital Territory. C. The National Conference shall tentatively last for three months and shall discuss any subject matter whatsoever except the indivisibility and the indissolubility of Nigeria as a nation. This is to say that the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. D. A conference management secretary shall be established to manage, administer, and run the affairs of the conference. E. Decisions at the national conference shall be by consensus, but where it is not achievable, it shall be by 75% majority. F. The national conference shall advise the government on the legal framework, legal procedures, and options for integrating the decisions and outcomes of the national conference into the constitution and laws of the country. And finally, the national conference shall have a chairperson and a deputy chairperson, both shall be of unimpeachable integrity. Furthermore, the federal government has since approved the next steps necessary towards actualizing the national conference as follows. One, today, the 30th of January 2014, formal release of the modalities for the national conference. Today, the 30th January 2, 20th February 2014, nomination of delegates. In other words, all the stakeholders and all those who have the responsibility to nominate delegates to the conference should have the liberty to do so from today till 20th of February. Inauguration of the conference will follow soon after the delegate list is concluded. Pursuant to the foregoing, the modalities for the nomination of delegates to the conference are as follows. One, elder statesmen one per state and FCT, that is 37 in number, to be nominated by Mr. President. Two, retired military and security personnel. Military, one retired military personnel from each, each geopolitical zone, that is about six of them, to be nominated by the stakeholders. The same as police, one per geopolitical zone, six of them. The same as state security and NIA put together, that is six of them. These are to be nominated by the stakeholders. Three, traditional rulers, two per, per geopolitical zone and one for FCT, that is starting in number, to be nominated by the stakeholders. Retired civil servants, one per geopolitical zone, that is six in number, to be nominated by stakeholders. Five, labor representatives. NLC shall nominate 12 delegates. TUC shall nominate 12 delegates. And I encourage that nominations sh should reflect geopolitical and gender balance. Organized private sector. NECA, two delegates. MAN, two delegates. NASIMA, two delegates, NESG, two delegates. Nominations shall be by the stakeholders. Seven, Nigerian youth organizations. One, National Youth Council of Nigeria. Six delegates to be nominated, one per political zone by the stakeholders. National Association of Nigerian Students. One per geopolitical zones to be nominated by the stakeholders. Other outstanding youths and role models. One per geopolitical zone to be nominated by federal government. Women groups, NCWS, two per geopolitical zone, that is 12, to be nominated by stakeholders. Of course, this is because NCWC is the foremost 
uh, women organization in Nigeria. Two, market women association, one per geopolitical zone to be nominated by stakeholders. Then other women groups, FIDA, Nawoj, Wimbiz, two per organization to be nominated by stakeholders. Nine, political parties. The political parties hereby listed are parties that have representations in the National Assembly, and they are PDP, two, APC, two, APGA, two, Accord Party, two, Labour Party, two. The nominations are by the parties. And the idea of equality of them is because the delegates are only to, to present the, the views of the party. And so the, 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 the equality in, in number of representation does not have much reference to the, the size of the party. 10, Muslim leaders, six, to be nominated by the stakeholders. Christian leaders, six, to be nominated by stakeholders. Civil society organizations, 24 to be nominated by stakeholders, but they must ensure spread across geopolitical zones. Nigerians in diaspora. Uh, Nigerians in diaspora for these purposes is categori categorized into four main blocks. The European bloc, the American bloc, the African bloc, and Asia and Middle East bloc together. Two two per location and to be nominated by stakeholders. People living with disability, with disabilities, one per geopolitical zone to be nominated by stakeholders. Newspaper.